All right, shalom, 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 shalom. It's the high spirit wind, Judah of the GMS Mississippi camp, giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahasham, Ha, Kudash, Rakah. Also giving double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone, rule well. And uh, I want to say peace and blessings, salutation to the hopefully elect. All right. And, uh, you know, today I wanted to just, something was on my spirit, you know. I just wanted to go, you know, speak on it. You know, this truth comes with a price, man. I mean, we got some, like, the, the everything that embodies this truth is, is not free. Although it's, it's monetarily free, but to have this knowledge requires you to unplug from the matrix. And that's that's the thing about this truth, man. You know, in order for the most high to give you vision, to see outside the box, he's going to take you outside the box. So a lot of times you might not receive <coughs> the things that your soul lusts and desires in this world or exactly how you want it, whether it be women, finances, or whatever, you know, because part of this truth was, it was a requirement. You see what I'm saying? A lot of jobs you got to shave your beard. Another thing, you know, the brotherhood is elite, man. That's the kingdom on earth in itself, man. So some things uh not going to manifest in your life because this truth took place of that. Now, I'm in no way, shape, or form am I saying that you can't have money or, you know, you're not going to have a woman or, you know, whatever it may be. But what I'm saying is that truth took place of a lot of things. It's like having a child, man. <laughs> Your life before a child and your life when you have a child is two different uh, experiences, you know? That child is going to take up so much more time, space, and energy, you know, <clears throat> that, that you once had. But now you don't have it because you have this new uh, human in your life, man. Same thing with this truth, man. Your life before this truth is different. There's certain things you can't do. Just like how you have children and certain things you can't do. Now you got kids and you got to manage your time wiser and all that. But now... You got this truth, you know? A lot of things you may not get because the most I pretty much had it to where if I'm gonna show you the matrix, if I'm gonna show you what you living in and, and, and I'm gonna show it to you outside looking in, you gotta literally step outside of it, man, you see? So a lot of things ain't gonna manifest, you know? You just gotta take them losses, man. But at the same time, however, the most I said I give every needful thing in due season. And, and it also says in the scriptures that seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So in no way, shape, or form am I saying that you're going to be deprived of things that your soul needs and desires. But you have to also factor in that you're not going to have them same wins that you may have had in, in, in the world, man. Because you are no more a part of the world. For as it said in John, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. So the world doesn't not the, the world doesn't I uh recognize you, man. I was watching this movie called Inception. All right? And uh I think that was with Leonardo DiCaprio. And what happened was people could enter, you know, basically Inception was, you know, people get inside the dream, extract ideas from you or implant ideas in your mind. So you could actually be in someone's dream. But what happened was if you were in that dream, the, the people in their dream was a part of their subconscious and if they didn't recognize you they would attack you you see it was, it was a subconscious way of attacking the foreigner same thing how the world is man if you in this truth you are no more part of this dream man so the dream and the people along the dream they're not going to recognize you so they're going to see you as an enemy they can't vibe with you you see what i'm saying you might have people that you vibe with in the world but in general the world is not going to recognize you because you are now a foreign entity within the world, man. All right? You see, it's like going to Asia or China and you're the only so-called black person there. Whether, you know, we know it's a different experience if you would actually go to Asia or China, but the point is, you are a foreigner now, man. So the dream and everything that belongs to that, this, this dream that we live in, this, this so-called matrix, everything that belongs to it, it no more recognizes you of its own, man. You are a foreign element, a foreign entity. So just to bring it back to the point, man, you know, just a, a quick admonition for brothers, man, you know. You gotta look at things spiritually, man. The most high not gonna is not gonna give you everything that you may want. The same way you, you now you, you no more can eat pork, shrimp, catfish, there's other things he's not gonna he might not give for a certain period of time to you spiritually evolving his truth or 
Just so you can stay in a certain spirit, he's not gonna give it to you, man. Cause you are now unplugged from the world. But with that, I hope you brothers are edified to the next lesson. Shalom.